now let us find out for p2 bit so for p2 bit the combination is p2 d3 d6 and d7 again this should form even parity but what are the positions here the positions are for p2 it is 0 d3 is 1 d6 is also 1 and d7 is 1 since they forms odd parity now since they form odd parity i have to change p2 bit okay and therefore p2 bit is 1 p2 bit p2 bit is 0 here so i will set p2 bit as 1 so what will happen due to 1 there will be 4 ones and to form even parity hence there is an error occurred and i will set this bit to 1 okay error occurred therefore it is 1 and for the last bit that is nothing but the p4 bit and for this p4 bit the combination is p4 d5 d6 and d7 this should form the even parity but what is the condition here p4 is 0 d5 is 1 d6 is 1 d7 is also 1 hence they forms once again odd parity that is nothing but there is an error okay therefore i have to replace the p4 bit 2 from 0 it should be 1 okay and finally once again there is an error occurred here so i will set this bit to 1 now this error occurrence bit so this part is nothing but the msb part for the error towards the lsb part i'll move and therefore the error is therefore error code is equal to msb to lsb that is nothing but one one zero and this corresponds to six in the decimal format means there is a problem error code is six so six position there will be error and d6 is one here okay so for this d6 is equal to 1 i have to change the d6 bit to 0 then the conditions will be all set hence the new code will be this one will remain as it is 1 this one will change to 0 because error has occurred this will remain 1 0 1 will remain 1 0 and 1 hence the corrected code therefore corrected code will be 101 in which this 6 bit is corrected to 0 from 1 so this is how you can easily detect the error with the 7 bit hemming code and correct it so that's all about the error correction and detection within 5 minutes and thank you for watching in 5 minutes and for more videos and ideas stay tuned to in 5 minutes.